The atmosphere of a cruise line can truly make or break your vacation experience, which is why it's so important to choose a cruise line, ship, and sailing that are right for you. Two of the most popular cruise lines in the world are MSC and Royal Caribbean. In today's video, we've compared these two brands so you can make an informed decision based on key areas like food, cabins, and of course, price. First, let's talk about the overall differences between MSC and Royal Caribbean. Both cruise lines specialize in fun, offering upbeat and lively atmospheres, and they pride themselves on featuring the latest in cruise ship technology, from in-cabin virtual assistants that can tell you the latest news or weather reports, to apps and digital signage that prevent you from getting lost on board, and allow you to make reservations for dinner and shows. Both cruise lines are solid choices for families, but they also include plenty of onboard activities for all ages. Royal Caribbean is a great cruise line for active passengers, with plenty of outdoor pursuits that keep cruisers moving. It also prides itself on jaw-dropping, I can't believe that's on a cruise ship amenities, like carousels, designer shops, and entertainment that features acrobats, high divers, and ice skaters surrounded by choreographed drones. The ambiance is fairly casual. MSC, on the other hand, offers a slightly more glitzy experience. Touches like fine art and atrium staircases inlaid with crystals help to shape the decor, which drips in elegance. It's important to note though, although the cruise line has some ships designed specifically with North Americans in mind, it does have a largely international cruising base, with ships often presenting key announcements in five or six languages and serving up leisurely meals that can take hours. Next, let's talk about the difference in food between the two cruise lines. Both MSC and Royal Caribbean offer free meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the onboard self-service buffets and waiter-served main dining rooms. Royal Caribbean passengers can opt for set seating in the main dining room, which is a fixed dining time at the same table every night, or flexible dining, which is when they can eat any time between set hours at any table that's available. MSC also offers these choices, but only to cruisers who pay for this privilege. Do you want a less formal meal but don't particularly like buffets? Not a problem. You'll find plenty of alternative eateries on the ships in both cruise lines fleets. Where the lines differ is in how many options are available and how much extra it will cost you. In general, MSC has fewer alternative dining options and you'll pay for them. However, the food is excellent, particularly in the line's newer ships, which can feature a steakhouse, pub fare, seafood, Spanish tapas, Asian fusion, hibachi, and sushi with a menu designed by chef Roy Yamaguchi, and gelato, crepes, and a variety of fun beverages from a link-up with Italian chocolatier Venki. Royal Caribbean's free alternative choices include Mexican, hot dogs, pizza, cafe snacks, and even breakfast at Johnny Rockets, which is found on some ships. Added cost options comprise Asian, Italian, steak, barbecue, pub grub, and Starbucks, as well as lunch or dinner at Johnny Rockets on the vessels that have it. The cruise line also has a mystery dining theater on some ships. So what about the cabins on board? How do they differ on MSC and Royal Caribbean? Well, with so much to do on board, it's likely you won't even be spending that much time in your cabin, whether you choose MSC or Royal Caribbean. Even so, passengers should still weigh their accommodation options. Both cruise lines provide passengers with well-appointed cabins, although neither line is known for having the most spacious accommodations at the basic level. Because it has an older fleet, Royal Caribbean's cabins vary more than MSC's, which are as elegantly furnished as the rest of the areas on the lines of vessels. Within its large number of cabin categories, Royal Caribbean shines with its suite options, which include some of the largest mainstream living spaces found on cruise ships. Perks include concierge and or a royal genie service, complimentary formal wear pressing, a pillow menu, priority boarding, upgraded cabin toiletries, tours of the bridge and galley, and more. In terms of group accommodations, both lines have them, but Royal Caribbean offers royal family suites on select ships, which have two floors and feature bunk beds, a play area with games and toys, a balcony with an outdoor climbing structure, and even an indoor slide that takes the kids from their bedroom to the living room below in a matter of seconds. For its part, MSC does have a selection of rooms for families or other groups traveling together, but in order to choose these staterooms, passengers must book a higher tiered experience. And what we mean by higher tiered experience is that cruisers must choose from a list of four different levels of inclusion. Bella, 
Fantastica, Aurora, and Yacht Club for their sailings. Those levels determine whether travelers are allowed to choose a cabin type or dining time or flexible dining. The tiers also offer additional perks like spa discounts and priority boarding. Bella, the most basic and least expensive, means passengers are assigned a cabin and a set dining time and receive no additional perks. The most lavish, and of course the most pricey, is Yacht Club, which is tied to an exclusive enclave of private cabins within the same name. Yacht Club staterooms offer a ship within a ship experience via access to a restaurant, pool, and lounge areas that are reserved for Yacht Club passengers only. Like Royal Caribbean Suites, Yacht Club accommodations are some of the largest and most impressive at sea, offering concierge and butler services, priority boarding, disembarkation, and free alcoholic beverages within the Yacht Club area. Next, let's talk about the differences between the things to do on board MSC ships versus Royal Caribbean ships. Whether you prefer a more relaxing vacation or you're always on the go, you won't be disappointed with Royal Caribbean or MSC. Both offer plenty of out-of-the-way places for reading, sun decks for tanning, and adults-only spaces if your goal is to simply escape the kids and soak in the pool or hot tub. Ships in both fleets also have exceptional spas if a facial, pedicure, or massage is more up your alley. When it comes to activities, there are several differences between MSC versus Royal Caribbean. In general, MSC excels with its nightly entertainment, while Royal Caribbean offers more adrenaline-pumping activities like rock climbing, bungee trampoline, laser tag, trapeze classes, bumper cars, ice skating, simulated surfing and skydiving, and zip lining, most of which are free. MSC also features dual zip lines on its newest vessels. Although they weren't the first ship-based zip lines, they are the industry's longest. Riding them comes with an added fee. However, as do other daytime activities like onboard bowling, billiards, and the 4D cinema. Additionally, both lines have packed daily schedules filled with trivia, bingo, movie screenings, dance lessons, port talks, shopping opportunities, and live music. Further amenities like fitness centers, Four fee arcades and nightclubs with DJ spun music allow cruisers to make their own fun without a schedule. Further, Royal Caribbean presents a variety of game shows, including Battle of the Sexes, the Love and Marriage Game Show, and the Adult Scavenger Hunt Quest. You'll find plenty to keep you busy outdoors during the day, with both cruise lines providing at least one pool on every ship, along with children's splash areas mini golf courses, jogging tracks, and basketball courts on most vessels. Both cruise lines have also included water slides on the top decks of their most recent ships. Royal Caribbean's Perfect Storm is a trio of water slides that includes two racing slides and either a funnel-style bowl slide or a boomerang slide. Meanwhile, MSC's latest ships are outfitted with up to four slides, a standard slide, two racing slides, and a fourth one used for slide boarding which puts riders on a board that allows them to push buttons corresponding with lights that flash inside the slide as they're guiding through it, sort of like a video game. After dinner, Royal Caribbean does well in terms of production shows, featuring Broadway titles like Cats, Grease, and Hairspray on select ships. It also incorporates acrobats, aqua theater high divers, and drone-backed ice skaters into its nightly theatrics. However, nothing beats MSC when it comes to a sheer wow factor. Although the entertainment on most of the line's North America-based ships cater to an English-speaking audience, many of the line's vessels sail in the Mediterranean, which means the passengers are more diverse, hailing from a number of countries that speak different languages. As a result, MSC focuses largely on entertainment that requires few words, magic, acrobats, contortion, and music. Loose storylines are overshadowed by lavish costumes and scenery, especially on ship where the line's partnership with Cirque du Soleil creates a visually stunning experience for cruisers. For children, both Royal Caribbean and MSC have created clubs with plenty to keep the youngest cruisers busy and entertained. Both feature complimentary daytime activities like gameplay, story time, scavenger hunts, and dance parties. For its part, MSC features Do, Re, Mi, and Friends characters and partnerships with Lego and Chico, while Royal Caribbean offers over-the-top fun in the way of science experiments and even acting classes. So what about the price for each cruise line? Prices for both lines vary based on several factors, including ship, destination, cruise length, cabin type, and add-ons. 
With either line, you'll find more expensive pricing on newer ships, particularly if you book a suite. Generally, MSC has a large number of ships sailing internationally than Royal Caribbean, so it's difficult to do a fair comparison of pricing across the board. While Royal Caribbean has one of the largest selections in the industry in terms of cabin selections, MSC is known for its tiered pricing, which allows cruisers to pick how many add-ons they'd like to include with their cruise. Although you'll pay fees for extras with both lines, Royal Caribbean includes more in its fares in terms of dining and activities, allowing cruisers to use its zip lines, rock climbing walls, bungee trampolines, and skydiving and surf simulators for free, while MSC charges for the zip line use, as well as things like billiards, bowling, and the Formula One racing simulator. Royal Caribbean also does not charge for the privilege of selecting dining times or opting for flexible dining. Overall, whether you choose an MSC or Royal Caribbean cruise, you will have a fantastic experience on board. The two cruise lines share many similarities with each other, catering to a wide range of guests around the world, and both offer an excellent vacation experience. Have you sailed on both MSC and Royal Caribbean? Which do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below. Until then, happy cruising!